Hey guys, Rob here. Today I want to talk about charge controllers. In barrel trauma, batteries and supercapacitors aren't necessarily the most dangerous items in the sub, but if they're left at a hundred percent charge rate and left alone for too long, they can become damaged or even start a fire at an inopportune time. Uh, by default, many of them are left at 50% or even 0% uh, upon loading the sub, and so it's important to know how to construct your own charge controller that can be left alone and ignored and relied upon 100% of the time. That being said, let's dive in. The first step you're going to want to do is to calculate the set point error. Obviously our set point is 100% and the error is going to be the difference between the current charge percentage and 100%. This is as easy as adding a subtraction block and a memory block and connecting them accordingly. Discretizing the signal is as easy as adding a delay block. I recommend setting your intervals for about 20 milliseconds. Now that we have a discretized signal, we're going to build a PD controller or a proportional derivative type controller. If you've seen any of my other barrel trauma videos, you may recall that a proportional controller is as easy as adding a multiplier block and a memory block, and it is a simple proportional gain that is calculated based on the set point error. By using a delay block and a subtraction block combined with a divider block and a memory block, we are able to subtract the previous set point error value from the current set point error value and divide that difference by the amount of time that has elapsed between the two. This gives us the change in error divided by the change in time, also called the derivative. We're going to use a simple one-to-one -one gain for this controller. The last step is to combine the signal from these two controllers with an addition block and connect the output from that block to the set charge rate input of the element to be controlled. With our controller complete, it's time to test. For reasons that I don't yet fully understand, the controller doesn't kick in immediately upon loading the sub. Instead, it kicks in as soon as you touch the slider for the embedded charge controller, at which point it'll jump to 100% until the charge reaches about 90 and then starts dialing itself back down, approaching zero as the battery charge approaches 100%. And there you have it. A 100% reliable, easy to construct, no mods necessary charge controller that can be added to batteries or supercapacitors in game so that you can be sure they're topped up whenever you need them. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below and consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks for watching!